Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see who or what is coming toward you and love for February of 2022. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what and or who is coming toward you during February. We have the unseen. We also have the six of pentacles along with the emperor. And we have key. All right. So there's a few things going on. Now, for some of you, if you haven't been focused on love and you've mostly been focused on your business or career, I see things really taking off for you. OK, those of you that own your own business, you're going to notice an increase in your money. OK, business is going to start taking off for you sometime during this month. It could be. um it could be anywhere from now until around Aries season, okay? Things are just going to really, really take off for you. Now, for others of you, if you work for someone else, I see, I see you getting a raise, okay? And it's something that's well overdue for you. Now, this raise, this could be something that happen, happens from now up until Aries season as well. But I see some good money coming in. Also, be aware or be careful of someone coming toward you, telling you that they want to get serious with you or that they're looking to marry in the future or something like that. But this person is really wanting you to invest in them or they're after money or what you have. Um but yeah, be careful of people like that coming in. Now, there is someone that has been keeping an eye on you behind the scenes. All right. I feel as though this person, they've been, I feel like they've been trying to level up in order to show you a different side of themselves. I feel like this person is someone that didn't want you to see every or didn't want you to know every aspect about them i feel like when dealing with this person they were very closed off at some point but they're going to be giving you access to that part of themselves that was hidden someone wants to show you that they're serious now but all i'm gonna say is well that's not all i'm gonna say because i'm about to get into this juice okay but for now what i'm saying is um, whoever this person is, just make sure that you don't over extend, only give, only reciprocate, okay? Or make sure that the energy is reciprocated. So don't start giving into this person if they're not pouring anything back into you, okay? But there's someone that wants to show you that they can give you like an equal give and take, okay? Hmm... This is someone that wants to fight for this connection because they see you as someone that they'll marry. This is someone that walked away from you at one point in time or you walked away from them. I'm sorry, guys. I was hoping it was someone possibly new, but when I saw that um, it was someone that wasn't giving you full access to themselves, I knew it was pro probably someone from the past, but this is someone that... Um, may have walked away from you or you walked away from them and now they're coming back toward you because they see you as their ten of cups it's like this person may have learned some type of lesson in regards to you and they're realizing that you make them feel fulfilled because we're moving from the eight of cups to the ten of cups so it's like this person is realizing um that you fulfill them in some way, shape, or form. Some of you are going to be getting communication from this person, okay? A lot of communication. It's going to be coming in out of nowhere. I feel like some of you are going to reject this person. You're going to be telling them you're done. For others of you, you may accept this person's offer and start a new beginning with them, okay? I also feel as though when it comes to this person, there is a... um this, they're not able to let you go. There's some infatuation here. Um, 
there's some there's an unhealthy infatuation that this person has with you it's almost like they feel as though you complete them like i feel like there's a soul tie okay this person may have tried to bind themselves to you or the two of you um either you have a soul tie or this person has binded themselves to you this person's obsessed And I'm not using that lightly here. They're obsessed. Um, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this person's going to start coming in, reaching out to you a lot. They're going to want you to take them back or they're going to try to call you back toward them. Okay. I also feel as though this person's going to be, now for some of you, they're going to turn their back on anyone else that's interested in them because this person either was spying on you and there's something that they saw that made them realize you were the one that they really want. For some of you, they... Now, it's going to be different for everyone. For some of you, they were spying on you and they saw you happy with someone else. And so now they want that. It's like... It's almost the energy of... Well... They see you doing or having happiness with someone else when that was the same happiness they were trying to give to you or something when that was the that was the same happiness that you were trying to give to them it's like that type of energy you know when you're you know when people say well don't get mad when you see me doing with someone else what i was trying to do with you like that type of energy now for others of you they're spying on you to see if you've gotten involved with someone else for some of you they're even spying on your family Hmm. but they're watching you some of you they're even watching your friends now i'm gonna tell you if any of you run in the same circles this goes two ways either there's a friend that's spying on you for this person or they're talking to their friend about you for and for some of you there's a friend someone that they were friends with the friendship may have ended or they could be friends now but there's a friend here that spies on you because they really want you to come toward them <laughs> wow like this friend sees you as the empress or emperor um and it's because this person has been talking about you to this friend so there's a friend that wants you. But yeah, they're coming back toward you because they cannot walk away from this bond. They're going to be communicating a lot with you. Now, for some of you, if you don't want children with this person, make sure that you protect yourself because I feel as though this person is going to want to have a lot of sexual encounters with you all to get you um, pregnant or to have a child with you. They're going to do it intentionally. Now, if you're not able to have children, this person's just going to be reaching out to you a lot, letting you know that they want growth with you. I also feel as though um, for some of you, it's like when this person walked away from you or you walked away from them, you leveled up really quickly. It's like you leveled up, whether it's your looks, whether it's your um, lifestyle, whether it's your career. We have the Empress and the Emperor here. So the two of you had the potential to become like a power couple, but I feel like this person got lost along the way. Yeah, you're going to be getting communication out of nowhere. But for some of you, you have this person blocked or they may have blocked you. That's going to make them feel very rejected if you did block them. This person stresses a lot about you. They actually obsess a lot about you at night. But they're coming in to offer to you. Okay. But they're trying to do it in the right way. Okay. Wow. Oof, that's a lot. See, yeah, uh, they're coming in to offer you the Ten of Pentacles. But some of you are going to tell this person that you just want to be single because they did too much to hurt you or you don't want to be hurt. Okay. This person's going to try to figure out a way to um, get you to let your guard down. But I feel like you've definitely set up boundaries. Some of you don't look at dating this person the same way that you used to. You don't look at them the same anymore. I feel like this person is going to be coming in, though, trying to make peace with you. 
but I feel as though some of you are going to tell this person that it's over, like they've done too much. Now, others of you, this person's going to apologize for some type of betrayal, okay? Um, there's some type of family secret this person has. Out of respect, I'm not going to dive into that, but there's some type of secret here. It's like they may have found out that someone they were close to, that person secretly wanted you or something. Some, there's something about a secret here. There's something that has been exposed to this person or will be exposed about, about family or something. Also, this person, at some point, they were afraid of this Ten of Pentacles with you. It's because this person, they fear change, okay? But now it's like they don't want to end up single for the rest of their lives. And they see you as the one that they want to settle down with. I feel like they're going to be turning their back on past people trying to come in and make things work with you. But see, you already see this person as someone very immature or someone that you can't depend on. So I do feel like this person is going to try and change their ways. I can't promise you that. They're going to completely change, but I do feel like they're going to try to do what it takes to um to to make some changes. But see, for some of you, it's, it's too little, too late. Like, you're not even interested anymore. And for others of you, I feel like um if you've been praying for change or praying for this person to um see, see that you're good for them, I feel like your prayer is going to be answered. But just make sure this person isn't, um, just make sure that they're not coming toward you when they're having a hard time in life. Like, um, like they're not needing something from you. Just make sure of that. Okay. Oof, this, this is a lot. We're going to get a few more cards in regards to um, who or what is coming toward you during February. All right. Okay. So give me more messages, Holy Spirit, for everyone watching this reading. What and or who is coming toward my viewers and love during February of 2022? Two more shuffles. Hmm. All right, look at this. We have man. And if you're um, into females, then just read this card as female. A male friend or female friend enters your life. A male or female romantic interest. A man or woman will assist you. A man or woman plays a key role. So there's someone coming into your life, okay? Someone's coming into your life. We're going to see what this is about. But they're going to come in as a friend. Someone wants to befriend you. Um, be careful about giving people too much information too quickly. Like there's someone, there's a male or a female that may try to come in and befriend you. Or um, they may be interested in you. Just make sure that there's something about this person you may not know everything. Like this person could still be married or th there, it could be that, or it could be this person. There's something about them. There's something that they're not telling you or they won't be telling you. So just be careful when it comes to that. Be very careful with that. I feel like this person, they may not be telling you they're a hot mess. Like their life is chaotic um, that they're miserable, unhappy, um, that, like this person is going through a lot. There's something they're not going to be telling you. So be careful about a male or a female that comes into your life that's very, very attractive or you have a strong pull toward this person. 
just make sure you don't tell them things right away because there are some things that are hidden or will be hidden from you. You won't, they're not going to tell you everything about themselves. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to what and or who is coming toward my viewers and love during February. Thank you. We have good health. All right. So for some of you, your health is going to be improving. For some of you, it's going to be your mental health. If you've been disappointed or going through feelings of disappointment, regret, depression, anything like that, I see that changing up for you. But spirit is urging you to also set out, set up a workout program. You may need to balance your work and your um, home life, okay, or social life. Some of you, um, spirit is urging you to change your eating habits um, make sure that you're not drinking too much soda or drinking sugary drinks too much um, you may need to eat healthier okay so just make sure that you're doing that also if you are needing to go see a doctor about mental health do what you need to do okay do what you need to do hmm Give me more in regards to um, what and or who is coming toward my viewers in love during February. All right. So we have passion that came out in reverse. All right. So we have lustful desire, sexual connection with someone, new passion in life, active sex life. So that came out in reverse. So for some of you, I feel as though... Some of you, you may lose passion for someone. It could be this person that's coming toward you. It could be someone that you've lost passion for. Like you don't even see this person in a passionate way or you don't really want to be sexually active, active with this person or something of that nature. It could be that. It could be that. This is the person that's coming toward you, the person that you've lost lustful desires for. Or it could be that this person from your past that was very lustful at one point in time, they're going to come toward you. But when they come toward you, they're not going to just want sex. You're going to notice that about them. For some of you, spirit wants you to be careful about who you're being passionate with because you guys have a purpose here. Spirit wants you to make sure that you're doing the soul work which means looking for the true meaning of life, discovering your life purpose, or, um, you know, going on that spiritual journey or your spiritual journey. And in order to do that, sometimes you have to abstain from sex. So if you've been very sexually active as a lately, spirit is saying to slow down a little bit with that because, you know, it's like throwing your purpose off or whoever you are intimate with, make sure that you are equally yoked with that person, okay? Give me one more card for who or what is coming toward my viewers and love. Thank you. So we have creativity. Creativity. That came out crossing. So some of you may feel a little blocked creatively. Okay. And I feel like it also has to do with this sex, this sex drive or something. For some of you, spirit wants you to use the passion that like, um that you would be putting into someone else use that passion for your creativity okay there's also a love offer that's going to be coming in for you guys and it's going to result in marriage it may also result in the two of you having children or you're going to be raising your children together you may blend families okay wow so there's going to be a love offer that comes in, but this could be outside of February. For some of you, it could be within the next five months. But I see you attracting a long-term partner. Also be careful that someone doesn't come in that because remember i told you guys you're gonna have someone that comes in but they're not gonna be telling you everything make sure this person isn't married 
For others of you, this person could be newly divorced. So just make sure the person isn't married. Okay? Because some of you are going to be asked out on a date and that person may be married or they're already involved with someone or this person could be newly divorced. Hmm. For those of you that are already involved with someone, I see this person wanting to take things to the next level. And like I said, I feel like it's anywhere from Valentine's Day to um, the next five months. Wow. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.